So in the blue is Muay Thai, and in the red is Da Sheng Pi Gua Quan, Tai Sing Pequa. In my attempt at Cantonese, but Da Sheng Pi Gua Quan, and it's a monkey style of kung fu. It's a hybrid monkey style. So, and as you can tell, they test themselves. So he's got head movement. He's got the one two. His hands are a little lower, but a lot of karate kung fu styles, their hands are like that. Oh, a very interesting type of kick he just threw. I hope we see more of that. The monkey kung fu guy. Oof. So Muay Thai guy definitely feels more like a rock. Like you can tell he. Absorbs damage like nothing, right? This is from Hong Kong, by the way. This is the Da Sheng Pi Gua Quan, the the Monkey Kung Fu branch is, I think, very very famous in Hong Kong. So I don't know how many rounds these are. I don't know how many minutes per rounds. All I know is. I just somehow found these matches, and I was so excited to show them to you. So, Muay Thai guy's got a flow, man. And we have yet to see as much of a flow from the Kung Fu guy. So the Da Sheng, the Tai Sing, is named after the Monkey King. Sun Wukong, if you're familiar with ancient Chinese kind of literature. Oh! Oh, little punch to the body from Kung Fu guy. I wouldn't be surprised if Muay Thai guy's a little older. I think age advantage goes to Kung Fu guy. That's the second round. Oof. So, oh. See, Kung Fu guy definitely, he... I don't know if panic is the right word, but he's definitely a little bit more kind of swinging. I think that's the right word. Whereas, we take guys much more cool and collected. That yeah, was a great head movement by Muay Thai guy. He got out of the way of a power punch. See, Kung Fu guy's hands are going up now. You see that? His hands are going up now. He's learned. Ooh, that was pretty good. He's trying to utilize head movement too. Oh, he's in the pocket. Let's see if he's able to capitalize on it. Sorry, he has Muay Thai guy in the pocket. Nope. Muay Thai guy is kneeing him to oblivion in the clinch. Nope. All right. Oh, Kung Fu guy telegraphing his kicks. Oof, 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 man. Oh, man. Muay Thai guy is dominating this round. Oof. Oh, keep your hand up, Kung Fu guy. When you get tired, keep your hand up, man. Ugh. The first round, his hands were down, but he was much quicker. That was great counter that Kung Fu guy did. But second round, he's so much more tired. Oof. Standing count? Or no, he says he said it was a low blow. Notice that Kung Fu guy, oftentimes he raises one of his knees to strike with his Fists. I've noticed that a few times. I've noticed a lot of Kung Fu styles do that. Oof. His low hands, man. Kung Fu guy's low hands. <laughs> you know what I think? You know how there's that Muay Thai music in the background? Occasionally they should spice it up. Have some Kung Fu music or something like that. Oof. Muay Thai guy doing what he does best. In the third round, he dials it up, man. Oh, my God. Very standard kind of Muay Thai strategy, right? Oh, Muay Thai guy is... Wow. Muay Thai guy is showing he's a machine. Doesn't show tiredness at all, whereas Kung Fu guy's telegraphing his hits. Look at that, just walking his opponent down this Muay Thai guy. Wow, this is a beautiful third round by Muay Thai guy. Wow. Look at that. The Kung Fu guy's scared. I'd be scared too, man. Look at that. Oh my god. 
Oh, oof! Nice head movement. He ducked the kick. Look at this boy. That guy just going forward like a Terminator, man. Kung Fu guy, angle. This one, you angle. This is when you're tired, man. Use some of those monkey deceptive techniques. Ow, he had a kick to the face. Oh, my God. Oh, if he's not careful, this might be a knockout, man. Monkey Kung Fu guy also does not. I've noticed it a few times. He doesn't seem able to fight the clinch, man. He's not very able to fight the clinch. So, yeah, lots of holes in his monkey Kung Fu. As much as he's stepping into the ring, he could probably beat up a casual. But, man, against Muay Thai... Oof. Ow. Oh. Yeah. You know, if I were the ref, I might even give Kung Fu Guy a standing count. He looks a little concussed already. Ugh. Oh, my God. This is hard to watch, man. He... You can counter clinch him, right? That's one way to fight the clinch. Or you could try to work where the... Oof. Where the clinch is um, weak, right? Which is the side-to-side -side emotion of the wrist. So, you know, it's hard to fight it by just looking up or whatever. But the wrists are weak. But it's hard when the knees and elbows... I mean, I don't think there's elbows. But it's hard when the knees are coming at you. That third round was just an absolute beauty, man. That third round when he just came forward. He was just destroying the Kung Fu guy. So... Let me know, guys. You know, there's lots of styles of Muay Thai fighters, right? So, not every one of them has this type of game plan where it's like, okay, really dial it up as it goes on. So, let me know what type of Muay Thai fighter you are for my Muay Thai audience. But this third round was just beautiful. Look at this. He probably landed at least 80 hits on our Kung Fu guy in this last round man it was absolutely crazy look at him just walking forward that was the one cool part in the third round by kung fu guy he ducked the kick and then he countered but and then we also noticed of course the kung fu guy just didn't know how to fight the clinch man which is surprising i would think a hybrid Monkey style like this. Oof, that was the leg kick the Kung Fu guy ate. I would think a hybrid k Kung Fu Muay Thai type of style, right? It would... One of the first things it would teach you is how to fight the clinch, but I guess not. And just playing into the Muay Thai guy's game, right? Like getting walked down like that. Man. Yeah, see the raising of one of your... In fact, it's the lead leg. The Kung Fu guy raises his lead leg sometimes to launch a punch. I don't know what it is about certain Kung Fu styles that do that, but it is a telegraph. Maybe it gives you more force on your punches, but it's a telegraph. So that was a good little leg kick our Kung Fu guy threw, but he gets met by... A bunch of knees at the clinch. So, not a good exchange. Look at him. He's so tired. Oh, he ate another kick to the chin. Wow. Holy. That's crazy. So, this goes to. Look at that. 2010, guys. 2010, bro. So, it goes to Muay Thai guy. Joe B. Lee. Oh, Joe B. Lee. Billy Chow, dude. This is Billy Chow's gym. No way. I'm subscribing to this guy ASAP. This is Billy Chow. Do you guys know who Billy Chow is? Joe B. Lee. Billy Chow. Um, he's the guy from all these Jet Li movies. He's one of the most legit fighters, man. Jet Li, who's a performer, right? Billy Chow was a legit, like, legit kickboxer, Muay Thai type of guy. So, that makes sense. So, this Muay Thai guy comes from Billy Chow's gym. This is Hong Kong. Wow, so we saw one of Billy Chow's students. I just didn't realize that until the end. I guess I'm going to have to show this in the title or something. I don't know. But either way, 
Um, Zebra, aka Banma. I don't know how to say it in Cantonese, but Banma in Mandarin, you got my subscription. A lot of you are like, why do you react to it live? Because you're not going to get moments like this if I was reacting to this not live. This is crazy, guys. We just, one, we found that Billy Chow has a kickboxing gym, and two, his students were active in the 2010s. I mean, the last video from this guy was five years ago, but still, we can definitely, let's take a look at Zhou Bili Quan. Billy, like Billy. For example, I would just be Jerry, right? I would just be Jerry in Chinese. So this is Billy Chow's gym. So they host all these events and everything. I'm of course gonna link all these videos. Okay, wow, I wonder if Billy Chow goes to the gym every day or it's more just franchise. See, Billy Chow right there, Billy Chow. Fist of Legend, if you remember, he was the scariest villain ever. He did the backbreak move, if you remember. This is absolutely cool. I cannot believe we just discovered Billy Chow's gym, guys. So, Xu Xiaodong even talked about Zhou Bili. Uh, Raymond Lowe. Zhou Bili. Ah, you got my subscription, Raymond. I hope to encourage you to upload more. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Cute Pet Time.